Russell Coit. All Aussie adventures. What a guy. What a guy. Buzzing for this one. Let's get it. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the video and welcome to another reaction. We're going to laugh together tonight for this one. This is Russell Coit on Rove Live. I mean, Russell Coit, all Aussie adventures. I've done a few reactions to this before and it just always brings a smile to my face. Ugh, it's just so funny. It's just this guy. And um, somebody left, somebody recently left a comment on one of my um, reactions that I did to his stuff, just saying that it's cool to see like a Brit find it funny because the humor that he kind of has or, you know, or puts across is more like, it's more aimed towards the Australian kind of, you know, watcher, if you like, um, or viewer, should I say. So, um, so yeah. So anyway, I'm about to check this one out again. I'm, I'm looking forward to this. I'm looking forward to having a good laugh. Let's get into it. Here we go. But first, let us welcome uh, to the show, you know him from his uh, All Aussie Adventures. He is a legend in this country. He's been touring the big brown land, and he's back now to tell us all about it. Welcome the one and only <laughs> the Russell Coyne. Brown Coyne. Land. Show us the whip, whip skills again, if you sure. don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Can I do it down here? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Out, down, out of harm's way would be great. I actually have got the world record for more cracks in 10 seconds <laughs> uh, than, uh, than anyone. Would you like me to show Crack you? Crack away. OK, here we go. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. Thanks. <laughs> What's the point, everybody? Was that deliberate? Was that an accident? How you doing, Russell? Good, thanks, mate. Yeah. Great to have you here. Uh, an honour, if I might say. Thanks very much. Now, uh, I must ask you straight off the top, is Coit your real name? It is my real name, uh, Rove. It's actually Dutch. It's a Dutch word meaning uh, wide circular opening. Uh... <laughs> 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 So he told me before that quit is like ass or something like that, or like bum bumhole ass something like that. I don't know, something like that. And um, <laughs> hence him saying a wide circular opening. Oh gosh, this guy. Meaning a uh, wide circular opening. Uh, <laughs> given that I'm from the big brown land, it's sort of apt that I've got a name such as Quit. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Apropos, apropos. Yeah, yeah. Now, uh, you've been, uh, uh, of course, touring around with the uh, All Aussie Adventures. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you find now that you're back from the, from the adventures that you just get mobbed on the street? Because you're a big-time star now, Russ. Well, the amount of times that people have walked up to me and said, you're a coit, uh, is... Uh, <laughs> I would like a dog. You're an ass. Yeah, I can tell you now. But, yeah, I get recognised all the time because people, have their, they love me. Yeah. And they, they're happy that I'm out there because it's guys like me that are making the, the, the outback safe. Safe yeah. for people like, like you to go out there because you know that if you're out there in trouble, I'm going to save you. Yeah. Well, I, I would struggle. <laughs> what, what, what would you say is the major problem a lot of people have when they go out in the bush, Russ? I think survival. You know, yeah. this... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I... Somebody told me off in another reaction I did to Russell Coit, and they said that I shouldn't like say like it's the way he say he says things that makes me laugh. They said that you know all Aussies talk like that, and some Aussies may find it in insulting to say that oh she talk like that it makes me laugh, sort of thing. But listen to the audience as soon as he says something they're cracking up the most simple thing. Look at the smile on this guy's face. It is just. It's not his. It's not his accent. It's his delivery. Like he's, of course, he's got an Australian accent, but it's the, the way he delivers it. It's just hilarious. And a lot of people have when they go out in the bush, Russ. I think survival. You know yeah. this. Uh, <laughs> I think mean, this this game show, whatever it's called, Survivor. Yeah, Survivor. Uh, yeah. The, the uh, I actually consulted on the on that show. Oh uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I gave him a couple of ideas. I said to him, uh, "You should kill a pig," and that went down very well. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> 
I said you should uh, get yourself some coral. And both of those ideas, I think, got a lot of publicity. Yeah. And thank God there are people out like, like me spreading the word of, of, of the outback. Now, do you prefer to take a back seat in, in a consultant form like that or be out there as you are with your Aussie adventures out there in front of the camera? I'm a hands-on type mm, of guy. Yeah. I, I like to get amongst it. I like to get my hands dirty. And, and I think that's the only way. If you're going to be an outback man, you've got to do it in the outback way. Yeah, exactly. Now, uh, you have been talking about being an outback man. You're talking about some of the problems people have. Mm. Now, I'd uh, like to show a clip from uh, from this week's All Aussie Adventure. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, set, the, set the clip up, if you would. Well, this week, we're lucky enough to get uh, three city, city kids who have never been to the bush, and we take them up into the Victorian high country mm. for, for, for a week of the sights, the sounds, the smells of, of a beautiful part of the world. Yeah, and, you're a good uh, man. You're a yeah. good man. And, well, these kids are normally, uh, you know, vandalising things and, uh, yeah. you know, uh, <laughs> you know, the, the, these kids are lost, and I'm setting them straight. Yep. Uh, and I think what we're seeing here is a, is a clip uh, where we stop over and, and I teach the kids how to uh, help someone who's, uh, I think their car might be bogged. Yep. Yeah, yep. let's just have a look at that now. Up here, recovery equipment is not just a necessity, it's a must. I hate to think what would have happened to these two amateurs if we hadn't come along. I'm not sure that was meant that was meant to be. I don't get to see the show. Well, I out there, I, I produce it. I, you yeah. know, I, and I don't cut the show. Well, because I was going to say a lot of the stuff that comes out in the All Aussie Adventures. Have you seen the show? I'm not seen I the have. Show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Is that the problem? Because sometimes I must admit you're not portrayed in the best light, Russell. What are you saying? Well, I'm just saying <laughs> sometimes uh, it seems that whoever is behind this, whoever's producing it, who's ever making, I know that your big crack productions are involved. Uh, that uh, you're coming off looking like a bit of a goose at times. I'm Let's just, just saying. Get a couple of things straight here, my friend. Things go wrong out there. <laughs> I don't always get it right, and I'm the first to admit that. Yeah. Okay. And what we saw there? Okay, it was a mistake. But the guy is now safe and sound. <laughs> <laughs> Back behind, the car, yeah, the and car. everything's taken care of. There was a small court case. No big deal. <laughs> you know, I say drop it. I mean, this, this annoys me. I've got a theme park. How can somebody be so, like, how can he say such funny things and keep a straight face? I mean, I'm literally tearing up here because I just find, oh my gosh. I mean, <laughs> there was a small court case. <laughs> oh my lord. The bumper bar's back, back on, on the car. Yeah, the and car. taken a mistake. But the guy... He's now safe and sound. Yeah. <laughs> the bumper bar's back, back on, on the car. Yeah, the and car. everything's taken care of. There was a small court case. No big deal. <laughs> you know, I say drop it. I mean, this, this annoys me. I've got a theme park up there in, uh, up there, up in Queensland. Yeah. And I do the whip cracking. Now, yeah. you know, one little kitty goes to hospital. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said don't move. And he moved and I crack him across the eye. He's, he's doing fine now. Uh, if you haven't seen that There's video. There's something annoys me. People want to... If you haven't seen that video, check it out. It's on my channel. I, um, I think I reacted to Russell Coit dancing and Russell Coit with a whip. It was like a double reaction. Um, check it out. I'll link it at the end of this video. One little kitty goes to hospital. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I said, don't move. And he moved. I crack him across the eye. He's, he's doing fine now. <laughs> this sort of thing annoys me. People want to nitpick. They want to make fun of you. Yeah. I'm out there doing the right thing by Australia, right? Is it a tall poppy thing, do you think, because you are such a big celebrity? It comes with the territory, I'm yeah. afraid. Right? And uh, <laughs> I, guess, I guess you know. I mean, we had that trip. Where did we go? We went up to uh, uh, Humpty Doo. Yeah. In the Northern a, Territory. Up the Northern Territory. Up the Northern there. Territory. And I know that, uh, you know, you, uh, you enjoyed it up there. And, I uh, did, I did. We really got hands on, mm, you know. Mm, you, mm, you showed mm, me how to wrestle a croc. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You know, uh, granted it was, it was stuffed at the time. Yeah, but that's, yeah. <laughs> no, no, it was an asthmatic one, which I really appreciated. That's right. Do you have any memorable moments? Like, it gets dangerous out there in the bush. Are there times where even you have stared death in the eye, Russell? Stared death in the eye. There was a time a couple of years ago, and it... Uh, it upsets me to talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I was uh, off South Australia because, and uh, and I was in the water, I was scuba diving, mm -hmm. 
And someone yelled out, white pointer. Oh, and I, I swung around with my, with my gun, and my gun went off. Yeah. And I shot Ron and Valerie Taylor. <laughs> and um, <laughs> got him like a shish kebab yeah. sort of thing. And Who's Ron and Valerie Taylor? Let me know in the comments. Ron got very upset. Yeah. And I was really frightened at that point in time. Yeah. Probably the most frightened I've ever been in the outback. But okay. that was a very, very scary time. Well, you know, you, you've got to wound him. If you mm. wound him, that's trouble. You just, that's right. If, that's I, I wanted to put him down because, yeah. no, put him out of his misery, but Valerie you know, wouldn't have it. Otherwise, yeah. he'll attack. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now, you've actually brought in uh, an animal to show us, I believe, from, now, where the, from is, the outback. Yeah, here, this, is, this, is a, uh, this is a little, uh, little a bush bandicoot. And, uh, and they, uh, they're, they're nearly extinct. But I've been oh. working with the convers uh, okay. com convers convers conversation <laughs> conversation department, conversation department yeah. to uh, to uh, make sure that they're. Uh... Right, gotcha. <laughs> Look, we'll just leave him down there. <laughs> All right, Russell Coyne, everybody. Thank you, Russell. <laughs> Hold on to your adventures on the Ten Network. Oh my. Ugh, guys, like I say, it's just, he's just got a way about him. He's his delivery, it's his, I don't know, it's just his humour in general. I mean, actually, I didn't realise that Russell Coit's got a little bit older now. Like, I don't know how old Russell Coit's All Aussie Adventures are, but like, I saw a video that he just brought out, he was on another show, like some football show or something like that, just in, a couple of weeks ago, and it popped up on YouTube. It said it was from two weeks ago, but I'd come across it a bit earlier. I haven't watched it yet, but I just watched like the first like little bit and just saw a picture of him, and he just looked a lot, a bit older, not old, old, but a bit older than what he is like there. So I don't know how old Aussie Adventures are, but just let me know in the comments. But all I know is this guy is jokes. I need to see more of his comedy, whether it's from all Aussie Adventures or just from him doing like a stand up show. He must have done stand up before, surely, or just being on some other shows, other interviews like this, because he just makes me laugh. He always brings a smile to my face. Like I can always rely on Russell quite tough. Um, Quite a, a circular opening. <laughs> this guy. Anyway, I'm sure you guys enjoyed that. I'm sure you did. So let me know in the comments if you did. Let me know more Russell Coit reactions that I can get done. Um, if you're out in the outback, you know, be careful out there. It's, it's obviously Russell Coit said it himself. It's a dangerous place. Big brown land. Anyway, I hope you guys are well from wherever you're watching around the world. If you're watching from Australia, thank you so much for tuning in. I've got quite a few Australian sub, um, subs, um, subscribers on my channel, actually. However, for some reason, I come across it the other day, but only, like, like it's, it's, it's like 96% of people that watch my channel and don't subscribe. 96%. That's madness. That means they just watch it, they enjoy the video, or they don't enjoy the video, either or, but then they just don't subscribe. But I think most of you do enjoy the video, so if you watch this and enjoy it, please hit the subscribe button, because I've got more reactions like this on the way. Hope you're well, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Cheers.